directed graph represents a cycle of nodes which is traversed which are traversed at certain point of time so it is called as a cycle of graph the cyclomatic number is equal to the number of linearly independent paths through a program in its graph representation the cyclomatic complexity is defined by this formula that is v of g is equal to e minus n edges minus nodes plus 2 star p Hello everyone, it is Dr. Ravikumar Vaibhi, Department of Computer Science, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. Now you will see about the cyclomatic complexity which is available in your syllabus of software engineering. What is the meaning of cyclomatic complexity? Let me define the cyclomatic complexity first. Cyclomatic complexity is a software matrix used to measure the complexity of a program which is defined by Thomas J. McCabe that is developed this metric in 1976. Cabe also interprets a computer program as a set of strongly connected directed graph. Now you are going to see all of these conditional statements like if, while, do while and all these kind of iterative statements and conditional statements are going to be represented in the form of a graph also called as a directed graph then that defines what is the purpose of defining it in terms of a directed graph to define or to obtain the complexity of a program Why it is called as a cyclomatic? We have a cycle which is represented by a directed graph like this arrows from here to this node, from this node to this node, so on like this. That is the reason we are using that it is a directed graph. A directed graph represents a cycle of nodes which is traversed, which are traversed at certain point of time. So it is called as a cycle of graph. So it is the name is called as the cyclomatic complexity of a program. This is determined. Nodes represent parts of the source code having no branches and arcs represent the possible control flow transfers during the program execution. Please listen to it carefully here. I am using the word the source code here that is the program wherein there is no branches at all that means a sequential execution of statements. Suppose if there is any branching statements like if condition then the control jumps from if block to the else block or it enters into the if block based upon the execution based upon the condition satisfied in the conditional statement we are going to consider the complexity of a program. The notion of this cyclomatic complexity is represented by the graph which has been used for this measure and it is used to measure and control the number of paths through a program. The complexity of a computer program can be correlated with the topological complexity of a graph. What is the meaning of topological complexity of a graph? Suppose if I have a graph like this. I will move on to the if block or to the else block. If the condition always moves to the if block or to the else block, then this is considered for complexity measure. Suppose if the condition is always moving to the if block, the complexity is considered for if block. At one point of time, it jumps to the else block and comes out of the looping statement, which is having the if statement. So we are going to calculate the complexity of a program with the help of these directed graphs. What is the meaning of topology? Topology means hierarchy that is going to be represented. Cape also proposed the complex cyclomatic number that is V of G of graph theory as an indicator of software complexity. What is the complexity of a software product? The cyclomatic number is equal to the number of linearly independent paths 
through a program in its graph representation. For a program that is control, pro control of a program is determ determined by V of G. What is the meaning of V here? What is the meaning of G here? Vertices of a graph. Vertices or nodes. What is the meaning of vertex? This is called as a vertex 1. This is called as vertex 2. This is called as vertex 3. We have a set of vertices here. And these are connected by some edges. Connected by some edges. The, so I will call this as a graph G. So since it is a vertices present in this graph, I will represent it as V of G. So that is how we are going to represent. V of G is equal to this formula where E represent the edges, N represent the number of nodes star two plus 2 star P. If you observe this, E is the number of edges, N is the number of nodes in the graph and P is the paths that are connected in a graph G. So if you look at this example, I have one sequence of instruction y is equal to 2, z equal to 3. This is one of the equation, sequential equation. If you consider this, we have an if condition. If the if condition, if the value of x equal to if x greater than 4, if it is the condition, we will move to this if block, else we will move to the else block. That is 3 minus 3 plus 2 is equal to 2. Which because 2 is greater than 4? No, obviously no. We will move on to the else block. So the branching is taking place at this point of time. If it is no, if it is yes, the branching is taking to the if block itself. So that is how we are going to calculate the complexity of a program. Similarly for while loop, when does the while loop uses the condition? When the condition is satisfied, we go on executing the loop. When does the condition is dissatisfied? When it is not satisfied, control comes out of the looping statement. This is the looping statement that is defining the condition. Repetitively, it keeps on executing the set of statements until the condition is satisfied. When the condi once the condition fails, it comes out of the while loop and states that this is the exit of loop. Similarly, do while loop, we have the looping condition. Until the condition is satisfied, we will keep on repeatedly executes the set of statements included within the do while loop. And once when the condition is not satisfied or fails, comes out of the while do while loop and executes the rest of the statements. So it is represented in the form of a graphical representation. The cyclomatic complexity is defined by this formula that is V of G is equal to E minus N edges minus nodes plus 2 star P that is P represents the path in a graph. So V of G is the maximum number of independent paths in the graph then V of G is greater than 1. G is the one path if V of G is equal to 1. What is the meaning of this? If I have only one path, I will say that V of G is equal to 1. Minimum complex, minimize the complexity to 10. What is the meaning of this? So we are going to minimize the time complexity to 10 so that the complexity of a program is going to be determined with the help of a graphical representation. What is the complexity? What is the difficulty, total difficulty level in a program execution is calculated using the concept of cyclomatic complexity defined by Cabe in 1976. So with this, I'm going to conclude this session. Thank you very much. Thank you one and all my dear students.